everybody. Welcome back to Daddy Diaries. My name is Zeus. This is my daughter, Zeta. Ten years old. Hi, everybody. Okay. Today, we'll be making a healthy lunch. Something quick and easy for families, especially single parents. These are some of my daughter's favorite recipes. She'll tell you a little bit more about it. Today, we are going to be making homemade mini pizzas and smoothies. Excellent. Now I'm going to go over some of the ingredients with you, starting with the mini pizzas. Now, I like to use these sandwich thins, uh, honey wheat, Arnold's brand. Now you can use whatever brand you like. They have different flavors. Um, the pizza sauce, this is my choice here. I've gone through quite a few. I don't really like the other ones. You can try them, see which one suits you best. Also, basic mozzarella cheese. You know, you can add other cheeses if you like, whatever your preference is. Now, moving on to the smoothie, we have baby carrots. You can use large carrots, you know, peel them, cut them up, whatever suits you. Red delicious apples, you can use Granny Smith, Fuji apples, whatever the case may be. And of course, ocean spray, cran grape juice. Okay, now we're going to start with the mini pizzas. Now what you do first is you take them and you have to make an indentation in the middle. Now when you make the indentation, that is where the sauce is going to go. Okay, kind of like the crust. You'll create the crust. Interesting. All right, so you take some time doing that. Is that you can grab one. Remember? Just the inside, eh? Like this? Yeah. There you go. Make sure it's nice and flat on the inside so it looks like a mini pizza. Okay. I'm gonna do this last one. So you can take a spoon. Fill it in, however much you want. Some people like a lot, some people like a little bit. I'm kind of in the middle. There you go. Something quick and simple. You want to try one? Yes, please. There you go. However much you like. Okay. And make sure you spread it around. There you go. That's all you want? Yes. Okay. Like I said, some people like a lot, some people like a little. Right, let me do this last one here. Simple and quick, healthy. I prefer to make these in home as opposed to ordering pizza because you have the opportunity to control the ingredients and you won't be left with boxes and boxes of pizza. You can control how much you make for the kids, parties, events, whatever the case may be. So we're going to move into putting on the cheese next. Again, use however much you desire. Yes, please. Put on now. Okay, now that we have our mini pizzas made, we're going to put them on the pan and we're going to cook them up. Now we're going to move into making the smoothie. Uh, before we get into the details, uh, my daughter would like to introduce somebody to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I would like to introduce my pet monkey, King Kong. Say hi everybody, King Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Today, King Kong is going to be eating lunch with us. All right. There you go. Okay. Now, moving into the details of the smoothie, uh, as you can see, we have some cran grape juice. We have some baby carrots. 
and some very delicious apples. Now, we're going to blend all of this together in our Nutribullet. So we'll just add these ingredients and whip this up real quick. One of the greatest blenders. You and the put the carrots in. Come on. All of them? Yeah. A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go. How'd you like this last time you had it? It was awesome. There you go. Now there's no particular uh, or specific ratio. You can put in as little or as much as you want of the carrots and the apples. And when it comes to the juice, you can do the same. So we'll just add a good amount. Right. And we are ready to roll. It looks really yummy. And there we have it. Uh, here we have our finished product. Let's see how it turned out. Right. Zayda, would you like to do the honors? Okay, let us know how it is. I guess that says enough. And there you have it. Let's check on these pizzas. And here we are with our finished product, ready to eat. And Zeta has already polished off her, her smoothie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll get to it. Here we are. Everything is finished, complete. Zeta's enjoying her meal. This experience is important for family bonding, bonding with your children. I love cooking at home so I can explain the ingredients to her, teach her how to cook, show her how to eat healthy. You can control the calories, so forth and so on. It's good to do it at least once a week. A few times a week, as, as many as you can, but at least once a week for that bonding period, for that time. She has absorbed the information well. She knows what's healthy, what's not healthy. Now, tell me a little bit about your, your, your school lunches. What do you think of your school lunches? I love my school lunches. Okay. Now, all of her lunches are made by me every day. Apples, you know, carrots. Uh, a little treat here and there. It might be homemade pizza, uh, chicken breast, so forth and so on. But I make sure that she has a well-rounded and balanced meal on a daily basis. I don't leave her to uh, eat the lunches that they fix at the school because, as you know, most of the school programs are not healthy. They're not up to par. So, you know, I make sure that she leaves home with a healthy meal every single day. Now, what do you think about the meals that you see at school, that you see them fixing for the other kids? Well, they smell funny and they don't look that good. All the kids at my school, they're always saying that it doesn't really taste that good and they're always playing with their food because they don't want to eat it. And my friends also say that it smells really funny. So I don't like it. What do they say about the lunches that you bring? 
They're always begging for my lunches because I let them try one, some of my lunch, and then they they think it tastes really, really, really good. So then they just keep on begging for it. Well, and I don't get to eat my own food. Well, there you have it. Again, it's it's a great uh, great activity to bond with your children. It brings the family together and uh, teaches them how to eat properly, eat healthy, and it saves them from the dreaded school lunches. So for you single mothers and single fathers like myself, make sure you make time. Make time to go through this process with your children. It's, it's imperative and it's something that will stick with them for years to come, for the rest of their lives. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my meal with my daughter. And I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Daddy Diaries.